G'day, can you solve this easy multiplication question in under five seconds? 43 multiplied by 46. As I said, you have five seconds, go for it. All right, I reckon that's just about five seconds. Did you get the following answer? 1,978. If you did, well done. That is the correct answer. If not, keep watching, because I'm gonna show you right now how you can easily and pretty much instantly go through and do these types of questions where we are multiplying two digit numbers that have the same tens value. In this case, we are in the 40s. So sit back and enjoy. So how did I work this out so fast? Well, we have 43 multiplied by 46. As I've said, they have the same tens value. They have both numbers in their 40s. I'm just gonna jot that 40 down there because we're gonna come back and we're gonna use that in a second. So the first thing we do is we see how far each one of these numbers is from 40. So 43, is three more than 40, and 46 is six more than 40. Easy so far, right? The next thing we do, we either add 43 to the six here, or 46 to three. It gives us the same value. 43 plus six gives us an answer of 49. We're now gonna use this to get the first part of our answer. And to get the first part of our answer, we get our 49 and we multiply it by this tens value of 40. So 49 multiplied by 40. Now, if you've watched my previous video that I made to this, I showed you a nice easy way that you could do this pretty much instantly. So if you do this, you're going to first off get 1600 plus 360, this answer of 1960. And I'm just going to jot that down right there. Now what we do to get the final part of our answer, we just multiply these two numbers here. Positive 3 times positive 6, we get the answer of positive 18. So we add 18 on. And from that, we get our final answer, which is going to be 1,978. The very same answer that we got at the start. So how's that? It's a nice, easy math trick for multiplication. Just another one to add to your mental math tool chest. And see the link in the description for the series where I'm looking at a whole bunch of mental math tricks. So the first thing we did is we saw what the same tens value was. Then we saw how far each one of these was from that tens value. Then we did this cross addition, multiplied by the tens to get the first part and then multiply the units and added that on. Pretty simple. Do that a few times, you'll be doing that in no problems. So what about three of these that you can do right now? Okay, so let's start off with something nice and easy. 31 multiplied by 34. I think you should be able to give that a pretty fair go. Uh, we'll do another one after that, a bit harder. Uh, 73 multiplied by 77. And last of all, We'll change it up a little bit. What about we do 63 multiplied by 58? And I think you're gonna see straight away, this one here doesn't have the same tens value, but you're gonna notice that it's near the same tens value and we can adapt to work it with that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in the answers. Anyway, pause the video and give these a go. By the way, do you like this trick or you currently use it? Maybe you've just learned it? Slam down hard on that like button and subscribe for more math tricks. Anyway, enough of that. Let's have a look at the answers. So first off, we have 31 multiplied by 34. You can see first off, these are numbers that are near the number 30. So that's the number we're going to be using. Now, how far is each one of these from 30? Well, 31 is one more than 30, and 34 is four more than 30. Cool. So what we do now is 31 plus four, we get the answer of 35. 35 times 30, and it will give us the first part of our answer. What is 35 times 30? Well, hopefully you've been practicing that last video that I did where I was showing you how to do these sorts of questions. But when you do this, you should get the answer of 1,050. So I'll just jot that in right here, 1,050. The next part of our answer, we're gonna get by multiplying one times four. One times four is equal to four. Well, it's positive four, so we're gonna add it on. Our answer is 1,000 and 54. How did you go with that? Okay, cool. Let's have a look at the next question. It's 73 multiplied by 77, and I think you can easily see we're gonna be using the number 70. So how far is each one of these from the number 70? Well, 73 is three more, and 77 is seven more. So we go 73 plus seven, that's pretty easy. What we're gonna get is the answer of 80. All right, cool, so 80 times 70, 80 times 70, that's a really easy question, right? That's going to be 5,600, all right. And now what we do is we go three times seven. Three times seven, that's equal to 21. 
A nice, easy question to answer. 5,621. By the way, if you've looked at a couple of my other videos, you might have also noticed there's a bit of a different trick you could use with this one because the numbers add up to 10 and they're the same digits. I've got a bit of a trick for a video that a bit earlier on. Anyway, maybe you'll see it. Anyway, let's get to the very last question here. 63 multiplied by 58. Now, these are both numbers that are near the number 60. So that's going to be the number that we're going to be multiplying with in a second. 63 is 3 more than 60. 58 is 2 less than 60. Hey, that's the adaption we make. You can see it's going to have a mild little effect in a second. So what happens now? We go 63 minus 2 or 58 plus 3. Gives us the same answer of 61. And then we go 61 times 60. Now that's not a very hard question at all. The answer to that is going to be 3,660. All right, pretty cool so far. Hope you're going okay with this so far. Now what we're going to do is we multiply this positive 3 times minus 2. Positive 3 times minus 2. It's the differences that we're multiplying equals minus 6. So we're going to subtract minus 6 from that. 3,660 minus 6 is going to give us the answer of 3,654. Alright, that's not too bad, right? That was pretty easy. Anyway, that is all for this video. Do you want more multiplication tricks? Well, I have plenty of them here at the TechMath channel. Check out the links in the description below. Now, hopefully you like that shortcut. It's nice and easy, right? As usual, if you like this trick, please poke the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me how you went. A big thank you to my patrons. There is a link in the description if you wish to support my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.